one of the most requested features for Reason has been automation curves. So here I have this subtractor with a 24 semitone pitch bend range and a two bar note sequence. And I'm gonna option click the pitch wheel to create an automation lane. Now previously, if you wanted to create a non-linear automation, it would look something like this. I'll draw myself in a part and then either hold command or double click to draw in new points. And then I could kind of manually place these according to the grid or I could turn snap off and freehand draw. But as you can see, the automation cleanup can be pretty aggressive and the resulting automation isn't as smooth as it could be. Curves solve this problem and they're incredibly easy to use. First of all, draw in two points, your minimum and maximum. Now hover the mouse over the line in between them and click and drag up or down. Depending on whether you want to ease slowly into the automation or linger near the final value. And of course, you can combine multiple segments and multiple curves to create more complicated shapes. Manipulation of automation events works exactly as before, including time stretching by holding option and dragging. As well as reversal. And also adjusting clips to different parameter lanes. So for example, if I was to option and click the filter cutoff, I could then copy this automation data to the new lane, right click and choose adjust alien clips to lane. And now it's adjusted the curve data to the frequency cutoff. <coughs> Curves are one of those kind of features that I personally didn't place too much importance on until I got them, but they do save an awful lot of time. And they're especially great for sound design. For instance, risers. So in this example, I've got some automation lanes pre-made for oscillator modifier, filter cutoff, LFO rate and depth, and also pitch bend. So I'll just create some automation clips. Again, drag in my minimum and maximum amounts, and then drag downwards to create that nice slow build up to the maximum value. This would also work really well for downers and sub drops as well. So let's listen to this sine wave controlled by a straightforward linear automation line. Compared to that nice upwards curve, that's gonna linger more around the higher value. So try combining different curve types and automation shapes to get a feel for how and when to best use them. And then in the next chapter, we'll take a look at audio crossfading.